I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with the KE0OG Quickie. On my YouTube channel, Ham Radio Answers, I've often asserted that the human ear, because of the way it's constructed, is sensitive to frequency, but not sensitive, or at least only slightly sensitive, to phase distortion. This fact lies behind all communications electronics. It's possible to ignore phase distortion as long as the frequencies are okay. It's high time to demonstrate that. We'll use two tones, basically middle C and high C. Now played together, they sound simply like a bright C. Now on the organ, it's just the same, middle C, high C, the two together, sounds like a bright C. I found some software called Test Tone Generator. I set it up to put a 256 hertz tone in the left ear. 256 hertz is essentially middle C. It puts a 512 hertz tone, exactly an octave above, in the right ear. So far, so good. So, how can we visualize what's going on? Well, with an oscilloscope, of course. On the left is the computer. It's recording the test tone outputs directly into Audacity. At the same time, they're playing to my headphones. I constructed this little jumper for my headphones so I can easily hook up the scope test probes. Okay, the top trace is the 256 hertz tone. The bottom trace is the 512 hertz tone. The middle trace is the arithmetic sum of the two. Sorry about the noise on the channel, but you get the idea of what the sum wave looks like. The sum wave consists of a fundamental plus the second harmonic. So it's two frequencies added together just like an audio mixer would do. By the way, the term first harmonic actually refers to the fundamental. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to slowly move the phase of the second harmonic back and forth. You'll recall that you can't change the phase without changing the frequency, so I've set the tone oscillator to create the second harmonic such that it varies just slightly in frequency, which also creates a tiny titch of phase modulation. Look at the waveform in the middle. Clearly, as I change the phase, the shape of the middle waveform, which is the sum of the two tones, changes. In fact, it changes rather dramatically. Tell me, as you listen carefully, can you really hear the phase change back and forth, or does the combination waveform sound the same no matter what the phase difference is between the signals? Perhaps you're a trained musician and you hear the subtle beat note between the two tones as it changes. I can barely detect that something is going on, though I can't articulate just what. So you tell me. Put your response in the comments. Can you hear the phase differences or does the tone sound just the same to you regardless? If you can tell a difference, describe what you hear. Let me play it for you a bit again. There you have it, another KE0OG Quickie. Be sure to subscribe. That's the round icon with my picture. Or check out the Ask Dave playlist. That's the rectangular video looking thing. Lastly, you can check out the tip jar. That's the square with the glass and the dollar bill in it and Mount Sneffels in the background. Until next time, this is Dave, KE0OG73.